Hawaii for Wadney Watt. Written by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger, narrated by me. Poor Wadney, Wadney Watt. His real name was Rodney Rat, but he couldn't pronounce his R's. To make matters worse, he was a rodent, a wodent. What's your name, Wadney? asked the other rodents. Wadney Watt, whispered Wadney. What's another name for Bunny? they asked knowingly. Wabbit, he mumbled. And how does a train travel? they winked at each other. A twain travels on twain twacks, Wadney replied miserably. All of this teasing, day in and day out, made Wadney the shyest rodent in his elementary school. His squeak could barely be heard in class. He gnawed lunch alone. And while the other rodents scurried and scooted about at recess, Wadney hid inside his jacket. Then one day, as the rodents were taking turns doing wheelies, a new rodent, a very large rodent, barged into the classroom and announced, My name is Camila Capybara. I'm bigger than any of you, I'm meaner than any of you, and I'm smarter than any of you. Then she added, So there. With that, she accidentally on purpose elbowed an ear, bumped two noses, stepped on three tails, and lay down on a desk. Fur prickled in fear through the classroom. She sure was bigger than any of them. She sure looked meaner than any of them. Was she smarter than any of them? What's two plus two? asked Miss Fuzzleworth. Four, shouted Camilla Capybara, without even bothering to raise her paw. And furthermore, four plus four is eight, eight plus eight is sixteen, and two hundred and forty-three plus a hundred and twenty-five is three hundred and sixty-eight. Later, when Miss Fuzzleworth asked, What's the capital of? Camilla interrupted. New York, Albany, population 295,594. And during science, in answer to the question, what part of a plant is below the ground, Camilla Capybara danced on her desk and sang, Root, root, rooty toot toot. Yup, thought all the other rodents. She's smarter than we are, too. They felt very, very uncomfortable. Every afternoon, just before final recess, Miss Fuzzleworth drew a name from her hat to see who would be the leader for their favorite game, Simon Says. She scrunched her eyes closed and jiggled the hat. Would it be Harry Hamster? Minnie Feet Mouse? Grizzle for his guinea pig? Could it be Big, Mean, Smart Camilla Capybara? Miss Fuzzleworth's paw reached in and pulled out the name of Wadney Watt. The bell rang, there was a wild scurry for the door, and Camilla Capenborough was the first on the playground, having trampled the others in her path. To Wadney, she looked especially scary. What would she do when she heard him speak? Breathe Capenborough breath in his face? or tie him up in his own tail, or even pounce on him. The tiny, trembling leader of the game stood before the eager players, his head well inside his jacket, and squeaked, Wadney says, weed the sign, while the other rodents read, P.S. 142 Elementary School for Rodents. Camila began pulling up weeds around the sign and wildly flinging them hither and yon till she was clear up to her teeth in dirt. The other rodents began to smile. Wadney says, Wap your paws, I wound your head. He peeked a little peek out of his jacket and saw, Wap, wap, wapity, slappity, wap. 
Camilla was whapping her paws around her head so hard she became dizzy, gave herself a headache, and had to sit down. The other rodents couldn't help giggling. Wadney says, play wing around the woozy. Camilla put out her arms like wings and made airplane noise. Nurr. But where was the woozy? What was a woozy? By now, Wadney's voice was stronger and his head was entirely out of his jacket. Wake the leaves. Nobody moved. Wadney says, Wake the leaves. While Harry, Minifeet, and Grizzlefrizz, and the others busied themselves raking, Camilla Capybara grabbed one leaf. Wake up! she yelled. She snatched another. Come on, you! Up, up, up! And another. Rise and shine! And another. Boo! By now, all the other rodents were squealing with laughter. All but Camilla, who frowned. Stupid leaves, they won't wake up. And why was everyone laughing at her? Such bullies. In a voice so strong, he had to hold his own ears. Wadney called. Wadney says, go west. The rodents collapsed in a happy heap for a rest. Camilla Capybara, feeling very smart that she could tell directions by the sun, said... All right, I shall go west. And then she added, So there. West she stomped, forever. She was gone. And from that day on, the pupils of P.S. 142 Elementary School for Rodents never teased Wadney again. He was their hero. Hooray for Wadney Watt, they cried. Woot woot, woody toot toot. The end.